When customers walk through the doors of our ARB stores looking for the right advice for equipment and accessories to fit to their four wheel drives, one of the first things we'll always recommend is a compressor. Now whether that be an onboard compressor like the one you see mounted behind us or a portable in this box, we strongly urge customers to always carry a compressor with them at all times. So we're catching up today with Daniel Bongard, Head of Engineering for our ARB compressor range. Daniel, let's start with the real basics. What do we have in the range of ARB compressors? We've got primarily three sizes of air compressor. We've got our CKS, like that one beside you, our CKM series, which is our single high flow, and then we've got the twin version of that, CKMTs. Okay, the CKS we marketed directly to people who wanted just actuate air lockers. So not suitable for tire inflation? Look, you can inflate tires with it, it's just not going to be the fastest fill. It's a high dependability unit with a low flow. The CKM series are single high flow. We market more toward people who want to do tires, maybe do air suspension as well, uh, as well as obviously air locker. If you wanted to look down the road of very large tires or many, many vehicles in the group um, you're off-roading with, as well as air suspension, then you'd be looking at one of our twins. Having that twin compressor, uh, one of the first things you want to do when you finish doing your four-wheel driving is you kind of, you're on the blacktop, you want to get home, right? So that, that, quick, uh, that quick inflation of your tires to get back up and running, I, I really do love having the twin on board for that purpose. Yeah, definitely. Nobody likes waiting for tires to air up. Speaking of the twin compressor, both the examples we have here with us both have a four litre air tank attached to them. Can you talk to the benefits of having an air tank attached to your compressor? The tank helps greatly in reducing that fill time when you're going around the vehicle um, with your air hose because basically as soon as you disconnect the hose from one tire, the compressor doesn't stop right away. It's still filling up that tank, getting ready for a big inrush for the next wheel you connect it to. And so the tanks are available for both single or twin compressors? Yeah, the tank can be used with any air system or multiples of the tanks if you desire. And outside of uh, pumping up tyres, are there any other applications for an air tank? Uh, originally we put a tank in the portable kit for air tool use because that huge inrush of air um, actually works quite well with uh, rattle guns, especially cheaper quality rattle guns that are maybe not so air efficient. So you get that real blast of air that's able to uh, undo any wheel lug. I think a lot of newcomers to four-wheel driving are very quick to, to pick themselves up a nice cheap portable compressor or the likes. But can you talk to the advantage of actually having your compressor mounted on board? Sure, well we find that the one time you're going to need compressed air the most is going to be inevitably the time when you least expected to need it. And onboard air is just always there. The portable could get left at home, you may not necessarily be on a four-wheel drive trip when you find you need air. You may be, you know, airing up a, a tire from a flat on the side of the road. And besides that onboard air, you can have plumbed into your air lockers, you can have hooked up to air suspension control via a control system like Lynx. There are lots and lots of uses for uh, pneumatics in modern day four wheel drives. So realistically, on recapping, the, the twin compressor largely, the, the major advantage of that is just faster inflation times. There's actually quite a few advantages to the twin. The twin has an inbuilt cooling system in it, so it has uh, a brushless fan blowing down the center of the system, which keeps the entire system cooler. And so we're able to run our twin compressors at 100% duty cycle, whereas a single compressor has a 50% duty cycle. Okay, so for people at home, can you explain what, what does that mean? Well, duty cycle is effectively how long you can run a device under a given load before you have to shut it down and let it cool down for a little while. So our single compressors at 50% duty cycle, you can run them for a solid half hour before shutting them off for a half hour. And you can keep doing that effectively over and over and over again and never breach the upper limits of the, the temperature. The twin, because of that inbuilt cooling system, you can just run it and run it and run it. So it, it doesn't require any cooling period. And I guess that goes back to some of your comments earlier about suitability. Uh, a single compressor with a half an hour run time you're never going to have any trouble pumping up four tyres on your vehicle in half an hour. But alternatively, if you were maybe uh, the person carrying a compressor for say four or five vehicles, you're definitely not going to want to attempt that on a single compressor and that's where a twin has the capacity to, to really pump through quite a few vehicles if need be. Yeah, correct. Look, a single can actually be run for much longer than a half an hour, but you're going to get toward the upper limits of the um, its own temperature cutoff switch. So your single compressor will do your tyres It'll even do these tires and your mate's tires no problem without having any cooling period. So even using it in a hot day when 
the temperatures are really going to spike, maybe you've got no cross breeze or anything like that, the compressor's taking care of its own vitals. Well, I guess one thing to consider mm -hmm. is also, we get to ask a few questions, you know, especially when we talk about mounting, where is the most appropriate place to mount a compressor? Uh, you know, what do we need to consider? Do we need to consider water ingress, dust ingress? Well, look, we tried to simplify it as much as possible in that the compressor is actually IP sealed. So we refer to it as low head submersible. You can bolt it to the bottom of the car, drive across a river, and the compressor can go completely underwater. The only thing we ask you to do is take the intake and relocate the air filter above the fording line of the vehicle. So the water is never gonna go over the intake and it's never gonna suck air down its, its, own, um, its own intake. Otherwise, I mean, we do try to make it as simple as possible. Just put it anywhere. Um, we have them under seats, we have them under bonnets, we have them on frame rails under the car. Um, they're, they're a pretty tough little unit. So fundamentally, you can actually operate it the same way we would a diff breather and actually isolate the, uh, the intake away from the engine so that you know it's getting nice clean air and, and being able to run even in a submersible situation. Correct, yeah. I've been at ARB more than 22 years now and ARB's been making compressors a lot longer than that even. Where we used to just make the compressors, we now make the complete system for the car. So we've gone from just the compressor and work out how to make an air system to we now do universal compressor brackets covering a wide selection of vehicles. We do individual applications for specific cars out there that are popular. We also do hoses and chucks and remote mount kits. We do intake relocation kits to remount the air filter. We do tanks, we do fittings. So we really do everything that you would need to create an entire onboard air system install in a vehicle. More recently, we've even started to adapt the, the likes of air pressure control. So to actually plug directly into our, our air compressors, we're making them even smarter by being able to talk directly to our mobile phones to help us uh, pump up our tires. We're really proud of our pressure control technology. That came originally from our Lynx accessory controller. We now do a standalone version of that, but that allows you to take an onboard air compressor and put pressure control behind it to be able to auto fill or deflate any size tire right down to a uh, maybe a child's bicycle or a basketball safely and really accurately you can leave a, an air gauge at home if you want. Daniel one question we often get asked which is understandable is how long should it take to pump up a tire with with an ARB air compressor? Well every vehicle is different but the vehicle behind us is a vehicle on 37 inch tires. Um, the owner tells me he can go from 16 PSI to 35 PSI in less than two minutes. The twin compressor onboard in this car is hooked up two links to give it um, full control of the air suspension in the back so we can vary the load in the back of the vehicle or level the load if need be. He's also running pressure control so that he can fill the tires or, or deflate very accurately the tires to whatever he needs to do as well as the rest of his mates on the trip, which I think he does quite a bit of. In fact, what you might not know is that this vehicle is also running the compressor to control its pneumatic hubs. Hey, I guess outside of tyre pressure fill times, I think a lot of customers would like to know, you know what are they getting in an ARB compressor over? There are a myriad of different compressors available out there, and what are some of the key advantages of an ARB compressor? I suppose it's the engineering behind what we're trying to do. Uh, we designed this compressor to be able to go into military applications, commercial applications such as mining. Um, we wanted something that was going to be tough enough to be dependable for the life of your vehicle and um, that's the market I think we're trying to hit. There's a lot of compressors on the market these days that uh, in our testing, in our compressor lab, they don't even survive measuring how fast they flow. So it really comes down to it's, it's dollars for dependability. And the compressors are built right here in Australia? Correct, they're 100% uh, assembled and dyno tested here in Australia. Every compressor is, is computer dyno tested for flow, amps, RPM, you name it. It's the complete quality check on every unit. And while they carry a three year warranty, we have seen so many examples of customers out there in the field that have been running their compressors for well and truly over a decade and uh, they keep going strong. It has been testament to the ARB brand and, and the amount of technology and, and engineering that's gone into these compressors over the years. Well, they're, they're also completely serviceable. So because we build them in Melbourne, uh, we have every single replacement part you could need to completely go through one should you need to. And we've got compressors related to the CKM that have now been out there in the field pumping air for 13 years. 
And is there, if for customers that are purchasing them, is there any servicing that they should be considering? Are our air filters, should we be changing our air filters or in what situations should we ever be looking at maintenance? Look, the compressors are oilless, so they're effectively maintenance free. The conditions you're running them in, if they're dusty, if you're gonna get an air filter packed full of dust to the point where it can't take air in freely, then all we say is clean that air filter. They are washable, fully washable, so they'll last the life of the unit as well. They don't need oiling or greasing. Um, they're pretty much set and forget devices. Well, Dan, we all know the importance of tyre pressures when we go four-wheel driving. It's the first thing we do. We let down our tyre pressures to make sure we get optimum traction. But there is nothing more important than when you get back onto the road that we actually inflate our tyres back up. Because driving on the bitumen with underinflated tyres is extremely dangerous and one of the key things that drives tyre failure. So we highly encourage you to make sure that you invest on a reliable, dependable compressor. So please come in and visit your local ARB store, check out the range and find a solution that's suitable for you.